Here is the rough cabriole leg for the Philadelphia low boy, but without the carvings. In my last blog post, I showed a video assembling all the parts of this low boy. This video shows how to carve or brand the claw and ball foot. foot. The carving starts with captured faces of the shapes. Here are many of the shapes from the imported sketch from a book. And here is the claw and ball shape captured in this face pro profile. The first thing is to open the leg component for editing. Then I'll get the carving profile from the components dialog box. Now the trick is to get this profile positioned accurately. I know a couple places that register it just where I want it. I will carefully move the profile out beyond the edge of the leg. And nudge it somewhat closer, making sure to stay on the green axis. The same carving shape applies to the adjacent face of the leg, so I need another copy. and it needs to be rotated 90 degrees. Also, it needs to be flipped to be consistent with the orientation of the first profile, that is the dark blue face toward the outside. Now to again position the profile into its proper place as we did before. And I'll pull it out beyond the edge of the leg. We're going to do an intersection and it is likely that this operation will create some very small facets that aren't handled well in SketchUp. So I'm going to scale the size up by a factor of 10. Open the leg for editing, then also open the profile shape for editing. Grab the push-pull tool, tap the control key or option on the Mac, and push out the various segment faces of the profile. After selecting each segment and tapping the control key, I can double click the following segments. The two front faces of the legs are the ones to be branded. Select both faces, then right click and pick intersect, intersect faces with context from the menu. There the intersections show up on the faces and we can delete the carving profile components. 
use the scale tool to bring the leg back to its proper size, typing 0 0.1 or 1 tenth. I use this same method for all the carvings. Then I have full-size templates to mark up the real lumber pieces in the shop. 